Hey, welcome to Man of Faith Ministry. I've got a question for you today, and it's, it's a question that you really, really need to answer honestly for your own good than, than anything else. So in your daily or day-to-day -day Christian life, do you honestly work for God, work with God, or do you simply work God? Three simple questions, okay? Now, this may take a little bit of thought for most to work out, but this, or the answer to this should be actually quite simple. Now, option one, do you work for God? Now, do you get up in the morning and pray or pray in the evenings and ask the Lord to let you know when you are needed each day or where you are needed each day then say thanks father and then go about your day or get ready spend the night and go about your day the next day okay that's option one the work for god option number two work with god do you pray in the morning or the evening as with option one and ask the same question as in option one of the lord and then but then ask that the lord to be with you throughout your day and have conversations with him like he is your best friend standing beside you. In other words, do you like to include him in your day-to-day -day life? Okay, so, and then we've got option three. Do you go about your day-to-day -day life as a born-again Christian who instead of conversing with the Lord and to know in your heart what he expects of you, now, instead, you tell yourself that he is in complete control and will steer you around like a shopping trolley. Okay? Now, that's, that's one to think about. So, I'll tell you. If you are in group number one, then you will probably go about your day believing that whatever crosses your path is God's doing. Because he asked you, or you asked him, sorry, in your prayers... Now that includes the good with the bad, that's okay. It's not ideal, but it's passable, okay? Now let's skip option two for a minute and go on to option three. Okay, so if you're in group number three um, with your, your answer to the original three questions, then you are really one of those trolleys or shopping carts, as they're known in America, that have the dodgy wheel and goes wherever it wants and usually steers into things like the shelves or other people, always towards trouble, never towards a good thing. Now this, that is definitely not ideal and being in this group will quickly steer you and others away from God. Just like that shopping trolley steers you away from where you really wanna go. So with this option, um, which is option three, some might even say that it is obviously what God wants because I left it all up to him and this is where I ended up. Do you think that way sometimes? Well, now, if you realise that you are in group number two, then you are going about your day with God right beside you. He is there for you to ask for his input with major or minor decisions throughout the day. Now, he is there in order for you to thank him and praise him also. Because remember, being friends with God is not all about just asking for stuff. You need to supplicate to him. You need to confess to him and you need to thank him for what you have in your daily life. Now, just in knowing that you have your father, your creator, with you constantly will put you at ease because you have the faith that he will not leave everything up to you. And you can ask for guidance and instructions just like he was physically standing there with you. And it doesn't have to be in prayer. You can just ask in your head or you can quietly just ask a question. And there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't always have to be in prayer. Now, if he's with you all the time, treat him like your best friend. So in all three of these options, you are still offering yourself to God. That's fantastic. That's what we need to do. But in two of them, you are offering yourself to God at that time of prayer, but then detaching yourself from him 
in order to go about and either do it yourself or tell yourself that God will handle it all and do it for you. We're not lazy. We don't need to go, God to do it all for us. So that way we can do what so many choose these days to do, and that means denying our responsibility for what happens. That's what happens with option three. We end up blaming everything that happens in our life on God, and we deny responsibility of it. And that is also what happens with many, many non-believers these days. They are taught not to claim responsibility for their actions, for their doings, when it is squarely on their shoulders. So when it comes down to it, only in one of these options, option number two, are you offering yourself to God with the express commitment of staying with him and working alongside him. He's with you, but you are also with him. Remember that. Plus, as an added bonus, when you're offering yourself to God, you are actually performing a spiritual act of worship. You are. Did you, did you even realize that? I didn't before I started researching this to be able to talk to you about this today. You are giving yourself to the Lord every day in a spiritual act of devotion and worship for that entire day. I know which group I am in and I know I can go about my day with the protection, the guidance, the grace and the mercy of my best friend, my father, my creator. So choose to work with God, not just for him and certainly don't spend your days just working him because it will be fruitless. It will be like an employee that you work to the bone and you get their work, but you get nothing out of it. You get no joy out of it. They get no joy out of it. So choose option number two and work with God for your daily life. Till next time, take care, stay safe, and God bless you all.